How's it going, you sexy beast? Yesterday was a massive mark on the history of Planetside 2. It was another weekly server smash where two servers go head to head on the public test server to see who looks better in tight jeans. But this was no ordinary fashion show last night. It was the clashing of two mighty titans, the servers of Watterson and Matherson. If you haven't missed the two hour event, don't worry, the VOD from any cast livestream is posted in the description below. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Keep in mind that it is indeed two hours long, so it's not for the faint of time. Also, we'll be doing a bit of a sneak peek of Hawson since it's planned to release this upcoming Tuesday, the 24th of June. Anyway, what was this server smash all about? Well, it was to decide the final name of the server merge that will be happening this Tuesday alongside the release of Hawson. So, it's a pretty big deal. It was originally designated as a competitive 240 Watterson Knights playing as the Terran Republic versus 240 Matherson Nets playing as the Vanu Sovereignty. But as the stream went on and the popularity grew, so did the conflict itself. By the end of the night, there were over 700 people competing on Esamir, vying for their server to emerge victorious. It was absolutely insane. The community banded together to make the server smash a massive success, peaking out at 2,138 concurrent viewers on Twitch, surpassing the lights of Call of Duty Battlefield and Titanfall. I wasn't able to get a lot of gameplay of the Smash as I found it rather boring to compete in since the lag, frame rate drops, hit registration, and extremely lowered render distances were killing me. Also, I might have been running solo. But here's a quick showcase of what it was like even before the event started. Mosquitoes as far as the eye could render, taking off and moving to Freyr was a rather exciting feeling as hundreds were in the skies. Once we reached Freyr, the massive mosquito and scythe air behemoths clashed and it quickly turned into a cinematic feeling of constant bullets whizzing by and an insane amount of lock-on rockets. Needless to say, I might have gotten shot down within like the first 10 seconds of the fight, but that 10 seconds of the fight was damn cool. The server smash actually raged on past its two hour mark into overtime where Watterson and Matherson had to stop pressing onto new objectives and focus on the bases still under siege. The final two bases, the Octagon and Esmere Munitions Corporation were all that stood between victory and defeat for either side. Watterson was able to defend the Octo Crown as Matherson focused their attention to Esmere Munitions Corporation where they reigned victorious. In all the excitement, Matherson was declared the victor of the server smash. But then there was a miscount and Watterson ended up winning due to the point allocation scheme the server smash gents came up with. But then that was wrong, so Matherson actually ended up winning. Since it was all a confusing event, the name for the merge server will now just be Emerald instead of any particular sun. This is kind of a throwback to the old Planetside 1 days where the East Coast server was named Emerald, and I think it sounds pretty awesome. It's much more fancy and it's going to be the crown jewel of servers. The server smash was all fun and jazz, but immediately after it, we got some tasty teases on what's coming out on Tuesday. More specifically, outfit recruitment tools, outfit capture mechanics on bases, and a rudimentary set of continental locking mechanics, as well as a beginning shape of Hawson. I can't quite speak much of the first two, as, you know, I need an outfit on the public test server and plenty of willing people to test that out. So for now, we'll just look at Hawson and the rough shape of continental locking. Starting off with this continental locking, I'm going off of very little information from what I can get from the public test server. That being, the big ass signs over Esamir at the time of this recording. It seems your faction must capture the required 94% territory control in order to dominate a continent, which is the same as before, in which it will be locked from all factions except the team that captured it. Meaning if the Vonner Sovereignty captures Esamir, then only they can be on Esamir. As stated, it appears to be the 94% territory control requirement, which appears to last roughly 6 hours. I'm judging this time by the remaining countdown on Snowshear Watchtower to fully flip to Vonner Sovereignty Control at the time of this recording, which was 50% complete with 180 minutes remaining. Like I said, this is all very rudimentary in its current form and is likely to change before being fully released on the live servers. Next up, and what we've all been waiting for, Hassan. Matthew Higby, the creative director for Planetside 2, has stated this particular continent has been in the works for nearly two years now. That being the design philosophy behind bases changing quite frequently. 
They wanted to put out a continent that would be awesome from the start and not have to go back and rework it like all the other continents. Or perhaps even after the continent's revamp, they have to come back once more to touch up on certain bases. For example, Quartzridge Camp on the western side of Endar. They just want to avoid any of that mess. Regardless, Hawson is freaking enormous, so I'm not going to be able to show off every single base in one video. That would end up being like 30 minutes in length and probably get pretty boring. Your best bet would be to hop on the public test server yourself and run through Hawson. I put a link in the description to one of my videos on how to get onto the public test server if you're unaware. Just follow that and you'll be golden. Hop in game and use the Continental Warp terminal like normal and choose Hawson. A few bases I would recommend checking out would be Gurney Dam. Fort Drexler. East Aiken Storage Depot. Hunter's Blind. And Abomination Point. These seem to be the most unique facilities, offering the most badass blend of prefab bits and pieces tied in with the environment itself. For example, Abomination Point has some sweet ass logs that are just the right size to fit an ESF through, offering some sweet roadkill potential. As stated, Hossum, Outfit Stuff, and Continental Locking are all in their beginning phases and are being pushed to live servers just to get it out there. More fixes and polishing will be added later. So what do you think about the very, very badass server smash between Matherson and Watherson? How about the new Austin changes and the continental locking? Let me know in the comments section below. I personally feel as of Hassan is going to be an amazing blend between infantry, tank, and air combat. The tree canopy will have air-to-air -air fights nearly exclusively above it. The many trees and hills offer awesome infantry ambushes, and the flat, wide roads work for some neat armor column convoys. Also, with these crazy amount of trees, it's going to make the skill ceiling of ESF pilots on Hassan be much, much higher. You're able to weave between those trees and still be effective in taking out targets on the ground. And holy shit, I want to shake your hand. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a big ass thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, thumbs it down and let me know what I can improve upon. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, then go ahead and click that super cozy subscribe button. It's absolutely free.